Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So I want to document this whole journey that I am on of my awakening. Oh my gosh. I did not realise how similar the INTP and INFP can be. I have felt for a very long time that I was being not my true authentic self and I would show up a certain way online and have like my online persona um, and you know I'm not really embarrassed to say this or anything that's the truth um, and I <laughs> properly took the Myers-Briggs test again yesterday um, I spilled some energy drink by the way I'm actually addicted to caffeine like energy drinks but I'm okay with being that way um I was trying to fight it um as long as I'm not having the sugar type I'm usually I usually get on pretty well um anyway it makes me feel really good um anyway so yesterday I spilt drink on my macbook and as soon as it happened I was just like no <laughs> because it turned off straight away um and it was really weird because my partner was like, do you think that maybe subconsciously somehow, or well, he didn't say it subconsciously, but do you think this happened because you actually want my old PC setting up and stuff? Because I realised how utterly um, awful Apple are. Um, I kind of knew it anyway. I just was attracted to the look of Macs, but the practicalities just aren't there. Like, I can't save anything on my Mac, but so really I haven't lost that much information. Um, I don't know if it works today. I haven't even bothered trying it, to be honest. Anyway, and so I'm in my little depressed state. Um, well, I just went through a bit of an existential crisis, like, and then after that, I just stopped caring, <laughs> um, which is one of the things that I can do. I can just switch off my feelings like that, and I didn't really understand what that was about or anything. Oh my god, that really scared me. There's a bird on the the sunroof. <laughs> oh my god, I hope it's okay. Yep, it's totally fine. No idea what time it is and I've got to go to work so I've got to speed up a little bit. Um, and so I took the test and it came out. Like, I was thinking I'm going to just take this test really like, I guess when I feel kind of depressed or going through an existential crisis or something like that. Like, I've been feeling pretty depressed recently. And, you know, I just figured that I would... I felt like I have more filters, like I'm more myself, if that makes sense, which is really weird that you'd feel more yourself when you're not feeling like really good. Anyway, so I decided I'd take the test and it came out like 50 something percent as a thinker. And I was like, oh, maybe this is because I've just been really aware that I'm probably autistic or maybe this is just because of the way I'm feeling right now and all of this sort of stuff. And then I said to my partner, look, this test came out different and my partner's an ENTJ right so very analytical type of person and I god I'm so many realizations like how me and my partner just like spend hours like just analyzing stuff and talking about stuff and things like oh my gosh anyway um and so my partner's like the only person I can really talk about my true feelings to as well it's really weird um, I feel really uncomfortable talking to people about my feelings and talking to them about their feelings and yeah it does make me uncomfortable I'm not be I'm not like just saying that it really does make me uncomfortable um, anyway so yeah I, just, I, I took this test again with him and I got the same result INTP and we both agreed like almost to the actual point what I really am um, on the levels like you have like three for like three for dislike and then one in the middle whereas before I was just going to extremes all the time personally oh I agree with that I disagree with that rather than actually like properly analyzing each question properly and some of the questions I thought meant something completely different to what they actually mean and when he actually explain, explained to how what they actually mean like this is how you think about the world not about your life and I'm like oh yeah it literally says the world in this question things like that I'm just like right okay <laughs> we properly analyzed everything and i kept oh, got the same result intp and i'm like well my, i know my partner knows me like more than anybody um and clearly i'm not as self-aware as i thought i was and um where is back again and once i realized like i had to know the answer i had to know if this was true 
and it explains why for so many years I was trying to um, be a feelings-led person um, when actually my mind likes to analyse and rationalise everything and whew, I'm following all these people who are really feelings-led and I relate to them and I really like them um, but the reality is I don't feel exactly the same as them and when I'm making decisions I don't do it based on what I feel to be true I take in lots and lots of different viewpoints and things and information and then I make a decision based on that and it can be extremely hard for me to make a decision about anything um, and sometimes I am emotions driven but I think that is because everybody in some way is emotions driven it doesn't mean that you're not driven by your emotions so that's really interesting and actually my feeling type is extroverted feeling which makes total sense and you know I used to look through a lot of I'm FP. Like I used to watch the videos, I used to look through a lot of content and be like, oh yeah, this is me. When obviously it was not me at all. And oh my gosh, I really got to get ready. I really got to go to work. Anyway, so I'm just blown away. And really the fact is I just get along with INFPs. But sometimes like, okay, I'm not going to say that. But I get along with INFPs and I appreciate and admire INFPs as well but I'm just not an INFP myself. And I'm not this really like smiley, happy person all the time, but I pretend that I am. And that's gotta change, I've gotta be true to myself. And it's like, you know, for the longest time, like since COVID happened and everything, I was feeling like quite down and depressed. And I didn't realize how depressed I was feeling because what I do is I just shut my feelings away. And yeah, they kind of erupt <laughs> basically because I don't deal with them. Um, and the last thing I want to do is show people my true feelings and things like that is so last night I ended up like oh yeah so and since that's happened it's like I've had an awakening and I literally spent like well basically I, I kind of gave up on my Briggs for a little bit and then I kind of spent like last night trying to shut my brain off so I could just get some goddamn sleep <laughs> and it was literally um yeah, I literally was watching YouTube videos, I was reading stuff about it, and I, I felt like I was reading about my life that I hadn't realised that I was living, that that was me. And now I realise the value in Myers-Briggs, like before, I just totally let it go, because I was like, this has no value in my life, this isn't helping me. The personal growth stuff is not helping me. Um, and that's why it wasn't helping me, because I wasn't utilising the correct information. And um, yeah, everything's just... Whew, like, I don't even know anymore, I've got to reevaluate my life, so I decided I would just have a few days off, like, Instagram and things like that, and really think about what I'm interested in, and, like, I'm really into punk music, and music that's different from the norm, and I thought, oh, that's because I'm an INFP, I'm different from everybody else, kind of feeling, but it's not that, it make, it's like, I'm not going to go into details because it's going to be a really, really long video. Otherwise, I don't want it to be a long video, but I'm just like, whoa. Yeah, and last night I was just like trying to shut off my brain and it was just like trying to analyse it all the time. And it was just like thinking about things and events that have happened to me. And the way I am and running my life through the functions that I actually have as opposed to that I don't. And I'm like, I really need to know the answer. And then my boyfriend comes to bed like half 11. Bearing in mind, I get up at like 25 past 5. Um, exactly because I start work at 7am in the morning it's like half six now so I really got to get moving but he's like you awake what are you doing you're awake and I was just like yeah I'm awake like and if he hadn't come to bed I would have stayed up way later than that like I'm a night person working an early shift like I work seven till seven so I have to get up really early and it really sucks and I'm a night person I'm not a morning person um, even however much I tried to be, um, really, really not a morning person. And what makes me happy in life isn't what I was striving for. I was striving to try and be happy in an INFP kind of feeling way, when actually what makes me the happiest is when I'm with my partner, when I'm with my friends, discussing intellectual topics that's what makes me happy or when I'm alone thinking <laughs> that's what makes me feel happy and it's crazy it's really crazy to me that now I've discovered this I'm like holy yeah I don't want to swear on my channel so that's what's going on right now 
and I just had to get it out and how the world for some reason not that they really care and um yeah I'm gonna see where this goes bye